Alrighty. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. We are recording. Hello, hello. Uh, we are here in Spring Tool Suite, and we're going to be doing um, a project. And we're going to be doing totally not the Save Travels assignment for the dojo. Uh, so we're going to call it uh, Not Save Travels. Oops, if I could spell travels right, that would be good. And as always, we've got Maven. Uh, CISO told me to put it on JAR, so I'm going to do that. Uh, Java 17 is fine. And for here, we're going to do not save travels. And we'll just copy that bad boy. Throw it down there. Totally not save travels. There we go. Alright, that looks good. And of course these are the four uh, dependencies that we that we need when we're starting any spring project. Um, platform shows you this explicitly. It's really, really good uh, to have those four selected. So for those who may not know, we need MySQL driver, uh, Spring Boot Dev Tools, Spring Data JPA, and Spring Web. Um, if you don't know where to find those, just type. start typing their name in. Like we can type in MySQL, there it is. We can type in uh, Spring Boot Dev, and there it is. Etc, etc, you get the idea. So we'll finish, and we'll let STS uh, create that little project right here for us. Here in uh, just a moment. It's creating it now. Oh, looks like it's already done. Perfect. All right. Um, so from here, what I like to do is right after I get this created, I like to uh, create my database and get all that done. So open up MySQL Workbench, click on the uh, local instance, type in your password, which mine is totally not root root. Uh, and we will click this little create new schema icon right up here. Do that. This one we're going to call it not save travels dash schema. There we go. And you come down here, this little button, click apply, click apply, finish. And that's all we need to do there. And of course, make sure it pops up in this uh, database list on the left, which ours did, which is great. Nothing's in there yet, but we'll fix that soon enough. Um, so yeah, that's all we need in MySQL Workbench. And now we are going to refer to our handy dandy little markdown cheat sheet that I created here. Um, I will be posting this in both discords, but basically uh, it's just a little cheat sheet. This is what you'd put in your application.properties file in your project. This is replaced with your schema's name. Uh, without the angle brackets, so you don't want to leave those in there. Um, I'll show you here in just a sec. And these are all the dependencies we need in uh, pomet.xml, but one thing at a time. So we'll go into re uh, source main resources, application properties, copy that first part, paste it in. Boom. There we go. Save it. Done with that. Don't need it anymore. Uh, next up is pom.xml. Just scroll through all this, copy all this. I did include the bootstrap dependencies in here. Uh, you definitely don't need those. And we also have bcrypt in here, which we'll be using for uh, login and, re well, registration and login later on down the road. So um, that'll, be, that'll be ready to rock too. So anyway, uh, we don't need that open. pom.xml. Find where your dependencies are, uh, which I think, I think I have these ones. Let's do a little test. Let's see. Clean up that a little bit. All right, what do we have here? JPA, Starter Web, Dev Tools, and Connector J. Connector J is right there. Uh, starter Data JPA, yep, we already have it. Uh, DevTools is up here, and Starter Webs is right there. 
And was that... Yeah. Okay, so those are already in there when you select those uh, dependencies when you first create the project. But um, no need to have them in there twice, at least in my opinion. But my little cheat sheet has literally everything we're going to need. So that's good. It gives me personally this weird little squiggly red lines, but it's never caused an issue. So I have no idea what it's trying to yell at me for here, but I just ignore it. <laughs> so that's just me. It's never caused my projects to not work. At least not yet. Um, and then in our little cheat sheet, the only other thing we have is just JSTL stuff that we need in our JSP files, which we'll come back to that later. So, with that being said, um, let's get started here. In here, uh, we want source main Java. Come in here, new, package. And we're going to create all of our packages. Um, like Caden showed us, if you right click on this, uh, this instance of a package right here, and you go to new package, it'll auto populate your project name, not save travels. And we'll do dot controllers. So that's always super handy to know. So again, I'll right click on it again, does the same thing, and we'll do dot models. And we'll do another package, dot repositories, which I have a hard time spelling. Repositories, yeah, yeah. Am I recording? I should be. Yes, I am. All right, good. Cool. Had to double check that. Uh, once again, new package, and we'll do dot services. There we go. All right, new class for our controller. Uh, this one, I called it Travel Controller. But uh, you can call it whatever you want. Doesn't matter. And we'll worry about this here in a little bit. We're going to get all of our files created first. A new class inside of our Models package. This one is going to be called Travel. Or not Travel, if you prefer. Uh, let's see, Repositories... Do, 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 do. Hold on just a sec here. So repositories, if you want to make it a little bit less painful, instead of uh, clicking on new class, you can do new interface for your repository. Um, travel repository. And it'll call it a public interface. And that way all we've got to do is put extends crud repository up here. Um, like this, extends crud repository right there. And that'll automatically import that for us, which is super duper nice. Uh, we'll come back and we'll fill this part out here in a little bit. We're gonna leave that blank for the moment. It's gonna yell at us, but don't worry. We'll come back and fix it. And then we got a new class, travel service. Bam. There we go. All right. So, uh, what I like to do... Uh, oh, also, um, in our source folder here. Source main. Uh, for some reason, mine does not like to create a web app folder for me. So I have to do that manually every time. I don't think I set something up right. But I have to create a web app folder and then I have to do the web dash inf all capital letters and then we come in here new and i have to go to other because jsp still isn't here even though i've done this a million times and find jsp file if you can't find it just type in jsp and it'll be right there and we're going to call it index.jsp uh i have um vs code as my default JSP editor on this machine. Um, I, uh, at work, I have uh, Spring Tool Suite as my default. So whatever you guys want to do, it, you know, it doesn't matter. It's, it's the same thing either way. This is just so I can code a little bit faster. But anyway, uh, make sure that's in there. Yep, index.jsp is in there. And we're just going to, for now, 
We're just gonna do an H1 that says, hello, it works. Perfect. Looks great. All right. Okay, uh, so I saved that, so it's good to go. Now, we need to put a bunch of stuff in all of these. I like to kind of work from the controller and go down, um, at least for now. So in our controller, I like to space it down a little bit, do at controller. We'll import that here in just a little bit. Uh, we've got private, final. This is where we uh, instantiate our travel service. And that'll import it for us, which is nice. And we'll call it travel service with a lowercase t and an uppercase s. And then we just do public travel uh, controller parentheses travel service travel service just like that. And all we're doing here is just saying this dot travel service equals travel service. And that's our constructor here. Uh, and if we just do control shift O on the keyboard, it'll automatically import this controller for us. Make sure it's the one from the Spring Framework stereotype controller, because uh, otherwise you will have issues. This is being underlined because we haven't used it yet, although we certainly will here in just a little bit. So, uh, we're going to do at get mapping. And we're going to create some sort of mapping for our home page. And I like to do public string index. Of course, it's our home page. Uh, we don't need to do model attribute yet. We'll just do index for now. Keep it simple. And we'll just do a simple return index.jsp. There we go. So there's that. Um, we almost have enough to actually run this now. Oh, maybe it won't let us run it because of this. This whole thing. Uh, let's, let's continue fleshing out our stuff here. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's just try and run it. Hold on. Let's, let's just see what happens. Run as Spring Boot app. Uh, yes, proceed. Application failed to start, parameter zero, and yeah, okay. All right, that's what I was thinking. Um, yeah, so it looks like we're gonna have to fill out a little bit more stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna work through the model real quick. So we'll go at entity, import it from Jakarta Persistence there. At table, Jakarta Persistence again, coming in clutch. Name equals travels. This is totally not the, uh, the save travels assignment, by the way. And then we got ID, and of course we need generated value generated value from Jakarta Persistence. And in here we gotta put this wacky strategy equals generation type dot identity. There we go. Alright, and then we got a private long ID. And this is our um, I didn't want that. I just want private long ID. This is uh, based on the columns that are going to be in our database, right? So we want some uh, validations here. So we'll do not null and size, all from Jakarta. Uh, and this one is going to be the expense. Um, I can't remember what the assignment says. I don't have it right in front of me. But this should work. Min 1, max 60. We can put a custom message in here saying... Uh, Expense must be uh, between 1 and 60 characters. Cool. 
So there's that, and that is for our private string uh, expense, not a, not message, expense. Not expense string, stop that. Okay, private string expense, perfect. Uh, and we're just going to kind of copy this, come down a couple lines, paste it in. We're gonna change this to vendor. Change this to vendor. Because we'll also want that validation there for vendor as well. Uh, next one is a little bit tricky. We'll do a not null. And we'll do a at min. Which this is uh, a minimum number. Value equals, and this gets a little bit weird here. But follow me, just, just follow me. 0 0.01 so basically this is casting this value as a long so that way we don't run into any crazy stupid errors um, so yeah it's casting our, our one penny as a long so it's a little weird but the assignment says to make it uh, must be greater than zero so we did it and it's a private double amount. There we go. Alright. Next up we have another not null. And that size. And this is going to be our description. So min 1 max uh, 255 is usually a safe bet. And our message is going to say description must be between uh, one and, uh, let's see. Oh, I guess their only constraint with the description is it must be longer than zero. So, uh, must be greater than zero. And again, private string description. I don't want description string. Stop trying to do that, please. Um, and on the platform, they have this whole thing that looks like this. You import the column, and you do updatable equals false. This is just so we can't update the created at um, stuff. The at created at, um, the created at time and date, essentially. We want those to remain uh, the same. Uh, pattern equals, and this is uh, the time and date format that we want it in. So we can do year, month, and date. And that usually works pretty good. Private date, not date time format, just date, created at. All right, and we're getting an error on this. So if we control shift zero, uh, control shift O, we can import that from. I think it's this one. We want Java util dates. Um, do, 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 do. <clears throat> yeah, Java util date. That's what we want it from. Okay. All right, and then we got just one more here at daytime format. We need updated at. So, again, it'll be very much the same actually as this. So we can actually just go like this. Copy. And paste. And switch this to updated at. There we go. All right. And of course, it's going to yell at you if you don't have a uh, a constructor. So I just use an empty constructor so it shuts up. And you can literally just do this all on one line. That way it makes it look relatively readable. And it's, it's a little easier. <laughs> and then of course we have the constructor that we'll be using to... Uh, pass stuff in. But you do need an empty constructor. I don't know why, but you do. String vendor. So this is our constructor. I could just um, 
I could honestly just put, uh, just hit generate constructor on this, but I'm not going to. Description. I'm already committed. Oops. This dot ex No! Why are you putting that there? Why are you doing this? This. No! I will kill you. Expense. Equals expense. <laughs> Good lord, man. Alright, we're just gonna copy and replace whatever else is necessary here because that's really annoying. So we should have a uh, vendor. And we can do vendor. And then we can do amount. Amount. And description. Description equals description. Perfect. There's our model. And now we need gener uh, we need getters and setters. Easiest way to do that, instead of typing them all out by hand, right click, go to source, generate getters and setters. Select all, generate, boom, done. There's all your getters and setters right there. Easy peasy. That's it for our model. That's literally all that we need. Uh, yep, that is it. Validations and everything. So, this is it for your uh, validations. Remember your empty constructor and then the one that actually matters. Why you need to, I don't know, but it yells at you if you don't have to. So, yeah. Uh, repositories next. Extends uh, CRUD repository. We're going to put in a travel and a long. And of course, it's going to yell at us until we import travel, so control shift O. I think it's command shift O on Mac, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, and then we're going to need list of travels, or just travel in this case. We're going to use the find all. Uh, method from the crud repository. It's going to help us out greatly. I didn't want all this garbage here though Bam, okay, thank you, and then we need another list travel and We're going to You know what we actually don't even need this one. I don't think uh, Why is list being dumb? Let's see. Oh, it's not importing for some reason? Okay. Let's save it. Uh, control shift O. No? Okay. Well, we need the uh, Java util list. That right there. We don't need this. Oh, no wonder it wouldn't import. It automatically tried to import the wrong one. Okay. Gotcha. So, anyway, this is it for our repository. Super easy. Super duper easy. Uh, services, we're going to get a little bit more complicated. Okay, we've got our travel service. Private final. Uh, we got to import the travel repository here. So, yeah, so this whole thing, this whole rigmarole again, is necessary, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Blank field may not have been initialized. Private final. Uh, oh, I think, yeah, this is why. Public travel service. Travel repository, travel repository. This initializes it, so that'll make that error go away. Here in just a second. Yeah, downstairs. There we go. And now it's going to be kind of yelling at us a little bit, saying, hey, this isn't used, but, you know, we're not super worried about it. Um, <clears throat> all right. And this is where we are going to write some other stuff. We're going to say, we're going to call on our uh, handy-dandy... Um, nope. Yes, notebook. <laughs> Public list travels. We're going to call on our repositories stuff here, now that it's at our disposal. Control-Shift-O, will you import correctly? Um, 
It didn't import list correctly, but that's okay. We'll fix that here in a second. Oh, I don't I don't need that after that. Sorry. I need this. There we go. Alright. Uh, and this is going to return travel repository dot find all. Which is that method that we just wrote back over in our repository right here. Or just kind of put in here. And that makes most of the errors go away. Why is this not being friendly? Oh, it tried to import the wrong list again. Let's see if I can get it to do the right one. There we go. Java util list. There. Got it. Okay, so that is our all travels method there. That's going to let us get all of the travels or the expenses or whatever you want to call them. I call them travels in this because it's called save travels. Although this is not save travels at all. But anyway. We also want the ability for the user to create a travel, so we should probably do that. So public travel create travel. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta pass something in here too. We're gonna pass in the instance of the travel as the letter T here. Return travel repository dot save, which is a built-in uh, method, which is awesome. Dot save dot T, or well, parenthesis T and semicolon, and there you go. We can now create a travel. Uh, and now we want to be able to find one by its ID, update one, and delete one, right? Because this is create, and now we need read, update, and delete for the full crud. So we're going to go ahead and write those methods out now. Then we will get into uh, the rest of it. So uh, next up, I'm going to do read. So we're going to say public travel, do not try to correct me here, um, find travel, find travel, there we go, find travel and we're going to find it by its ID, which we have to say long, because it'll yell at us if not. This is where the optional thing comes in, which I don't fully understand and I wish I did, but um, yeah, I, I don't, I need to research that more. But, uh, optional travel equals travel repository dot find by ID, which is another built-in method uh, that the CRUD repository saves us from having to write ourselves. And now we got to make sure, hey, if this doesn't exist, uh, we want to, you know, do something about that. So if optional travel dot is present, uh, that one's not popping up for some reason, but that's okay. If it is present, then we are going to return optional travel dot get. And this is throwing a wrench in the works here. Get out of here. There we go. So that's how you want it. Um, Optional travel, lowercase o, uppercase t. And then if it is found, if it is found, then we're going to get it. Or else, we can put an else statement right here. Return null. That easy. And that's it for that. That is our uh, read. We also have another version of read right up here to grab all of them. But this is to find one specific travel or expense however you want to look at it so uh, next up we have update so we're gonna say public travel oh excuse me public travel update travel and this is going to again take in uh, a new instance an instance of our class and ultimately we're gonna be snagging it from the form handing it to this thing and saying, hey dude, uh, re uh, update it. <laughs> Travel repository.save. 
And again, we have to put in the T there because we have it right here. So there we go. There's that one. That's literally all you need for update. And now, finally, public void because this returns nothing because all we're doing is we are deleting a travel by the ID. And that's just going to travel dot repository or travel repository dot delete by ID, which is a super handy uh, thing from the CRUD repository. So once again, it's coming to our aid and our rescue here. And that's it. That is it for our travel service. And that is it for the travel repository as well as the model. The controller still needs work. Uh, don't worry, we will be adding more to this, but we're going to make sure that this application runs now. So we're going to right click it, run as Spring Boot app. Should fire up. It does not. Okay. Why not? Parameter zero of constructor in travel controller required of a bean of type travel service that could not be found. Okay. So that's pointing to this. All right, what did I mess up here? Hold on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Do, do, do. Maybe we need to flesh out the controller just a little bit more. Yeah, we probably do, actually. Uh, we'll go ahead and flesh it out a little bit more then. Um, so we'll do index, and inside these parentheses, we're going to get a little fancy. We're going to do the model attribute. We're going to add a travel to our page, because if you look at the assignment, it wants us to um, it wants us to display all of the expenses, which are called travels for us. So sorry that's confusing, but that's the way I named it. So <laughs> told you this is totally not the uh, save travels assignment. It's not. It's just not. There's no way. You can't prove me wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're creating a new list of travels here called travels, ironically enough. And now we actually want to use travel service dot all travels, the handy dandy method that we wrote earlier. And now we're going to control shift O and hope we get the right stuff here. Uh, yes, model from the framework, the spring framework. Again, it tried to do the wrong list. If you guys are having this issue as well, let me know and keep an eye on that, because um, that's really stupid. But here, we're going to model.add attribute. We're going to add travels as uh, in quotes. So travels and travels, the actual variable, semicolon. And then we return index.jsp. Now, this app should fire up, and if it doesn't, I'm going to have to figure out why. So let's see. Consider defining a bean of type in your configuration. What in the hell does that mean? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, service. Oh, I think I, I think I know what's wrong. Hold on. Yeah, okay. If you're going to do a service, you should probably do this. The service. At service. <laughs> and import it from the Spring Framework. <laughs> Sorry, that was my bad. That was my bad. That was really stupid. Okay, run as Spring Boot app. Should work now. I don't see any reason for it not to. There we go. Okay, so now when, it, when you get this little text down here... Um, that usually means that it's running. So if we pull up our Google, we can do localhost 8080. Hello, it works. Beautiful. That is beautiful. That's exactly what we want to see right there. Awesome. Okay. Alrighty, so we are... 
pretty much done with that. Now it's a matter of getting our uh, index, our edits, and our show dot JSPs all correct. So I'm gonna crack open a Bob Blast here. Hmm. <sighs> Delicious. Okay. Uh, let's see. Travel service. This is all good. Alright, we're pulling all of the travels to our index.jsp. So, going back to it, I want to now bootstrapify this, but I'm lazy. So, I'm going to copy some code that I already had, and I'm going to walk through it. <clears throat> I'll walk through it step by step with you guys. Boom. All right. So now we've got all of our uh, stuff up here to make the JavaScript and like the C tags, the form tags, um, the rendering errors on put routes, all that good stuff. It's all right here. And I have a table. Uh, I, I bootstrapped this, so that's what this is, is all my bootstrap stuff. Well, the bootstrap link from their website. Uh, I like the theme of dark, and I have a I have all travel expenses right here. And I do table, text center, MY5, and uh, we've got all of these in here. And then I looped through all of the travels that were sent to this template by our controller, which we pulled all the travels from uh, using our service in our repository. Remember that dot find all? All travels, which leads back to find all. Remember that? We basically pulled all that out of the database, assigned it to a variable called travels, and passed it to our index.jsp. So, our index.jsp now has access to that. So for each item, or for each travel, in travels essentially, what is what we're doing here. We're going to print out the travel.expense, so that'll be the name of it essentially. The travel vendor, the travel amount. Uh, the assignment did not ask us to do the description unless you view the travel page. So, um, and then I have an edit button right here. It's just right here. It leads to this route, which we still need to write. Uh, and this route, which we still need to write. And this one. So, I turned the travel expenses into a hyperlink to link to that page. You'll see what I mean here in a minute when we start adding them. Um, and then down here, I have the form displayed on this page to create a travel. And, of course, we are going to need to do this route as well. So, that's kind of my walkthrough of this page. Let's see how it looks. So, we'll pull this back up and we're going to refresh. Boom! All travel expenses. We have the expense be listed right here. Vendor will be listed here. Amount will be listed here. And actions listed here. With edit and delete. Let's try creating... Oh, we don't actually have the route set up yet. Hold on. So let's uh, let's set up that route and see if it we can create a travel or an expense or whatever you want to call it. So go back into STS. Uh, and we're going to need to be in our controller, which we are, which is awesome. Do, do, do. Pull up my notes. Hold on. There we go. All right. So we've got at post mapping. Were you caught map napping or mapping, whichever? I don't know. We called it slash create travel. Just like that. And it is this is our method of what to do for it. Create. Bam. Now, first things first. We want to make sure it's valid. Okay. We need the model attribute uh, to add it as travel. 
in the parentheses inside of quotes. Then we need our travel, and we're going to have it called travel. We need a binding result. And we're going to call that result. And of course we need model model because it does not want to be left out. Boom. All right. Got some red stuff, but that's okay. So we're, first, we're going to check and see if this has errors, right? So we're going to say if results dot has errors. Okay, that's all we're saying. Hey, if this results, this binding result right here, if this has errors in it, we want to do what do you think? Well, redirect the user to the page and display the errors, of course. But first, we need to get all of the travels again. Because if we don't, they're going to be gone, and it's going to be a bad time. And you're going to get a white label page, and you're going to be really pissed off. So we need this logic right here. This exact same logic. Boom. I believe. Let me double check. Yes, we need that exact same logic. And then we need return index.jsp. All right. Then down here, we can have our else statement. Or else, if it's if everything's good, then we're going to say, hey, travel service, why don't you go ahead and create that travel and pass it in. And then we're going to return a redirect this time back to the home page. Because remember, you never render on a post. Okay. So... Uh, that's that for the create travel route. Pretty easy. Uh, notice again we did use a post mapping here because this is posting something to the database. And remember, if it's successful, which is down here in this case, we always redirect on a post, even if it's to the same page. So, we're going to bring it on back. Refresh. Refresh again for good luck. Get rid of that tab. And we're going to call this uh, gloves. We're going to say, we're going to test our validations, actually. Boom. Okay, so I didn't spit them out the best, but you can refactor and do what you need to do. Um, but we do get some validation here. Must not be null, which um, if I put like 13.54 in there, then that's probably going to be fine. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Um, because remember this is a double, so we can have decimals. But, yeah, 1 in 60 characters. Let's double check our expense. Yep, expense is good. All right, so we're going to get some gloves from Harbor Freight. And we're going to say they are gloves. Not globes, gloves, my guy. I also had a text area in this, so people can do this. Kind of a cool quality of life bootstrap thing. But once we hit the submit button, it should populate the table with this expense. And it does. Perfect. If you look here, we mouse over. Down in the bottom left, we got localhost 8080 travels one show. So that is what we want. We want to flesh out that route next so they can view this expense and look at the description that we put in. But here's this Harbor Freight. This doesn't look the best, but... You know, you can make it look better. Uh, and then we have an edit button, which will take us to the edit page, and a delete button to delete this. But we haven't set up those routes yet, so they're not going to work yet. So now that we know that that's working, let's do uh, another read method here. Or I'm sorry, um, maybe we'll do... Yeah, okay. Get mapping, we're going to do the edit page first. Travels, slash, and then we got this janky syntax in here with the curly braces of ID, slash, ed, uh, edit. Yep, because this is the edit page. So, whoops, not perblic. Ah, public. Holy shit. String edit. Uh, this one is going to have a path variable in it path variable. There we go. 
And the, the path variable inside of here is obviously going to be, you guessed it, ID. <laughs> it's going to have a long ID and model model because model model does not want to be left out ever. And we will do travel travel equals travel service travel service dot find travel. This is what we wrote that method for. And we're going to find it by its ID that we are passing in through the URL. So it comes from the URL in our browser into here. And this says, oops. And this says, uh, hey, uh, serve a travel service, uh, find a travel with this ID. And it says, okay, let me do that for you, John. And we're going to add it to our model because we can't display anything without doing that as travel and travel. Just like that. And then we will return the show.jsp page. Notice that this one is just a get mapping because we're not actually updating the travel expense, whatever thing. We're not actually updating it yet, but we will be. We will be. That comes next. Um, let's see. Or not quite next. I did this in a weird order. But, okay. Well, anyway. This will return our show.jsp. Um, next up, we're going to do a get mapping to view one travel. So, travels slash id slash show. And I think, as a bonus, this is considered best practice. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what CISO said. Was formatting your your stuff like this is considered to be best practice, which uh, I that's why I'm doing it this way. So I'm just going to call it show. We're going to need model model in here. And it's going to have another path variable of ID, just like before. And a long ID over here. The order, I don't think on this one matters that much. It could. I'm not 100% certain either way. Um, this is just how I did it and it worked. So, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Dot find travel I, by the ID. So this time we're just... You know, doing the same thing as right here. I could have just copied it. I don't know why I didn't do that. I can actually just copy this. Uh, copy. Okay. And actually, I'm kind of glad that I uh, did it this way. Because this one is supposed to return show.jsp. This one is supposed to be edit.jsp. Sorry about that. That was my bad. So... Again, travels ID edit, it snags the ID from the URL, throws it in here, looks at the service and says, hey dude, find me this ID, and it and travel service says, word dog, I got you, and finds it for him, returns the edit.jsp and the show.jsp respectively. So, that is all good there. We've got read one, and edit. Not quite fully edit yet, but we're just about to add that um, here in just a little bit. And then all we've got is delete after that. So, um, yeah, let's create our edit and show.jsps real quick. JSP file, edit.jsp. It'll pull it up in here for me, and I'll copy my code over in just a minute. Uh, and we'll do another JSP file, show.jsp. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna just snag my edit code real fast, and I'll walk through it with you guys. So we'll go to edit JSP. You'll want yours to look something like this. It's basically just going to be the form again. Um, but this time we have uh, the form form is a little bit different up here. We've got action travels slash travel dot ID. 
and we're going to have to write this route here in a minute. Uh, the method is post, the model attribute is travel. If you don't have those, it ain't going to work. We also have a hidden input here with name underscore method and the uh, value is put because we are using a put uh, method to, or put style, whatever you want to call it, to update this in our database, update this travel, this expense in our database. I also have a cool little button down here that takes you back to all expenses because I like quality of life stuff. So let's see if the edit works. Or actually, we'll set up show as well, and then we'll chat, we'll test out both routes. The show HTML is by far the easiest. Boom. This is it. This is all you need. <laughs> you need your uh, JSTL stuff up here for the C tags. And you need your bootstrap if you've got it. And I put it in a card to make it look fancy. Uh, card title, I put the title as the, ex the name of the expense itself. Uh, right here, value equals, and then I do the janky syntax inside of a cout tag, of course, uh, and then the couts for the rest of them. And I have a button back to all expenses. So let's see if those two work, shall we? So if we refresh, refresh again for good luck, refresh again for good luck, go to edit. We've got gloves, Harbor Freight 1354, and these are gloves, my guy, or they are gloves, my guy. We don't have the route to actually update this yet. We're about to write that. So let's go back to all expenses. Delete's not going to work yet, um, but let's try and view it. There it is. Expense name, gloves, vendor Harbor Freight, amount 1354. They are gloves, my guy. Perfect. All right. So far, so good. We are doing really good. We've only got a couple more things to write in our controller. Let me get back to that. Sorry guys, I'm not, I don't have this one, this stuff as memorized as I do, as I did with Python. Um, Python came much more naturally to me. This is kind of breaking my brain a little, but I'm, I'm making it work. I know what works and what doesn't. So that's the important part, <laughs> I guess. Uh, anyway, we're going to bully these guys into having text center, by the way, because it's really bothering me that they don't. Text. Whoops. Text center. Wow, now my bootstrap shit is working. That's annoying. Well, anyway, whatever. I'm going to see if that worked. Hold on. It's my show.jsp. It did. Now the text is all centered up and looks nice. So there you go. Very nice. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Back to our controller. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice a little. We've got two more routes to write here, essentially. This one is the big one. This is the update that everybody hates. So we're going to make it as easy as I possibly can. It's probably going to be weird, though. <laughs> so, request mapping value equals, and this is going to have the route. So, slash travels, slash curlies, ID, curly. Okay. Uh, and it's also going to have method equals request method dot put. Just like that. Uh, not like that, whatever that just did. Can we just undo that, please? Alright, thank you. Okay. Space it out a little bit further so you guys can see. Okay. Next up, we've got a public string. And this is going to be called... I called it update. You can call it whatever you want. First, gotta make sure it's valid. Right? Right. Next, we need the model attribute. Model attribute. And we need the travel itself. Next, we need travel, travel. We need binding results because this we are uh, editing stuff in our database. Anytime we add things to our database or update things to our database, we do need this binding result. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And again, we have very similar logic here. Um if result has errors, so if 
results dot has errors then we're going to add the um, we're gonna add the travel back to the model so that way the model still has it and doesn't lose it and have a an error and have a bad time and we're going to return back to the edit .jsp page to display those errors. Same validations as before. So, else, we're going to travel service, call upon our old friend the travel service, update travel. Passing in, you guessed it, the travel. Oops. Or the expense, whatever you want to call it. And then I returned a redirect, redirect, back to the home page. Just like so, like so. Okay? Cool. Next up, and finally, delete. Delete is a little funky. I had to use my brain a little bit on this one. Um, it, it hurt my brain a lot. <laughs> but uh, we're going to use the same route as this one. But this is going to be cool. You guys will see here in a second. Hold on. Request method dot delete. So we're using the same name. However, we're telling, we're telling Java here hey, request the mapping on this and see what kind of mapping that you get. So if we say in our JSP page, hey, this is a delete method, method equals delete, it's going to look for this one. If we say this is a put method, it's going to look for this one. Why is this not being nice? Cannot be resolved to a variable? My ass, it can't. What do you mean? Oh. Okay, I hit Control Shift O and it worked. Okay, cool, great, fantastic. Uh, public string destroy, <laughs> and this is where we pass in that path variable of ID, because we don't want to destroy everything. We just want to destroy the one that we're looking at, right? And it's a long ID, even though it's not that long. Travel dot service dot delete travel by the ID and then of course being that this is kind of post uh, I redirected back to the home page since it is we're editing things in the database with both of these so they're technically considered post I, I think put and delete are both considered to be post in one way or another but anyway yeah, so that's that's kind of how that goes. And that is it. That is literally it. So now we go back to our website, back to all expenses, refresh, refresh again. Let's add another expense for fun. Uh, hard hat from uh, Home Depot. Uh, and it was $20.12. It's hard AF, bro. Submit. All right, there it is. We got create. We've got read. Reading it right there. I'm reading it. Are you reading it? I am. We've also got read with this. So, you know, whatever. This bothers me, by the way, that these spaced out like they did. But edit. We have edit. Uh, let's change hard hat to... Uh, we'll just have it say hard hat edited and Home Depot edited. And the price will change it to uh, $50. And just put edited here, edited, submit. There we go, hard hat edited, Home Depot, 50 bucks, boom. I don't want that in my database anymore, delete it. Boom, there it goes. There we go. That's your full CRUD application. Oh, that's working. And yeah, oh, we didn't verify validations on, on this page. So if we leave that blank, let's try and submit it. Ah, okay, so the validation does catches it. E. What about these validations? E. 
All right. So it caught that one. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't have that. Must not be null. Okay, close enough. Description is one. That's all I required for it. Um, let's make sure it works. Yeah, it works. Okay, cool. Back to there. Awesome. That is... That's it. That is literally it. Um, and again, I know I copied and pasted the HTML and kind of flew through it. But once again, really all you need are these guys up here, which are in the, the markdown file that I created. Um, you don't need Bootstrap if you don't want it. Uh, all you need to do is just create a table and make sure that this travels is passed to this JSP page so we can read it and say, okay, cool. And again, we did that in our controller and it called back to our service, our travel service. Our service does a ton of the heavy lifting here. So if you get this written like this, you'll be golden. You will be golden. So um, all of this code is on GitHub. It's on my GitHub. Um, I uploaded it. <clears throat> I know it's technically <laughs> cheating, but um, you can you can check it out on my GitHub. It's uh, github.com slash driftingshade. Um, totally up to you if you want to go read it or not um but yeah that's that's how i handled the not save travels assignment <laughs> uh yeah other than that i think that's about it um everything's working and again like i said the travel service you write it like this you'll be okay uh, travel repository does a lot of the work as well as long as you just put this in there you're good uh, the model make sure your validations are formatted correctly that was the biggest thing that I got tripped up on and you have an empty constructor that was a huge thing for me as well um, and then of course your normal constructor and then generating getters and setters I've never had a problem with this so yeah uh, other than that that's all I've got for tonight. Um, a little sad nobody turned up to the live, but that's okay. Um, yeah, if you guys need anything, reach out to myself, the TAs, um, Caden if you need to. Um, if some of this stuff doesn't make sense, I'm not going to be able to explain it very well, <laughs> as you can tell from here. Um, I'm trying to wrap my head around a lot of these concepts. I know what works and I know what doesn't. So that's that's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, but unfortunately, I I don't understand this as well as I did with Java. So or not Java, but Python. Um, but yeah, if you guys need anything, let me know. Hit me up. We'll talk to you soon. Love you guys.